is it going to rain in heaven? There's just something about the rain, isn't there? That makes me think down deep to my core where it's cold right now because I'm standing in the rain. <laughs> makes me think that it's not going to rain, at least not like this. Yeah, sure, you can quote scripture texts to me that talk about God sending rain as a sign of his faithfulness and all of creation to keep things growing. And we all know that. But if it's going to rain in heaven, I don't think it's going to rain like this. It's not going to be gray. It's not going to be cold. It's not going to be heavy. It's not going to be the kind of day like today is that just encourages you to go back to bed, right? To curl up in your bed underneath a blanket with a nice warm pillow and hope that tomorrow the sun will come out. Because the reality is this kind of rain is what reminds us that crazy and horrible things happen in our world all the time, that our world is broken. And I'm not just talking about hurricanes and tornadoes and weather events. I'm talking about events like Russia invading the Ukraine and the lives that will be lost because of it. I'm talking about the world tuning in to, to watch the Olympics in a country that is currently committing genocide against the Uyghur people. And it seems like most people don't know that or don't care. I'm, I'm talking about COVID-19, that it still exists and it's still causing all sorts of interruptions in our lives and in our world two years after the fact. Here we are in a world that's broken, in a world that needs something better than this. Friends, I, I'm speaking to you today because I, I want to encourage you that our God made the world to be better than this. He made the world to be unbroken. And because of our rebellion we and our pushback against him, we're the ones who broke it, but God wasn't about to let the story end like that. You see, every year we enter into this story of redemption and we practice things like Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday is coming up a week from today, next Wednesday, March the 2nd. And Ash Wednesday is when the church around the globe stops our normal practice, where we are, we're going to fast as a church all souls, which means we're not going to eat food, right? We're going to fast so we can taste again freshly how hungry we are for a world that's better than this. And we're going to come together from 12 to 8, anytime in that time. You don't have to stay the whole time. You're welcome to. I'll be there the whole time. Our elders will be there the whole time. Our prayer team will be there the whole time. But you don't have to stay there. You can come as, and go as you like. We're going to have the Stations of the Cross so you can enter into the story that was created to be whole and good, that was broken. And that is then the story forever of our God who is our Redeemer, who doesn't let our mistakes be the sum total of our eternity, but who comes so that his victory can tell a very different story for us and infuse even days like this with hope. For this rain will end just like the reign of sin and fear and brokenness in our world will also end. Ash Wednesday is, is a time where we, we go through the stations of the cross as a church, and at the end we put on these ashes, right? It's the, the burnt palms from the year before, that day when the Lord Jesus rode into Jerusalem was celebrated, you know, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna to the son of David, and those very same people then turned on him that week and nailed him to a cross. It's the burnt palms of the year before that we then put on our head in the sign of a cross with these words, from dust you came and to dust you shall return. From dust you came is from Genesis chapter three and to dust you shall return. We're putting on our own heads the words of the curse, because we feel it, we see it, we experience it in our world, but in the sign of the cross, because our story doesn't end there, because our God would not let it. And so friends, this Wednesday, I invite you as a church, please don't miss this. Come out, bring your kids. We'll have childcare from five to seven. So if you want to come and have, go through the, the stations with your kids and then have your kids go off to some childcare so you can come and sit and just be with the Lord, come and do that. But friends, come, don't miss this opportunity to enter fully into the season that the church calls Lent. 
a season where we do a deep dive into exactly what is broken in our world and in our lives, in our relationships, in our hearts. And we say, Jesus, come, come even closer and bring, bring life, bring wholeness, bring hope right there. So again, it's this coming Wednesday at All Souls Community Church from 12 to 8. It's a self-directed walk through time where at the end, the last station, you come and, and you sit down with an elder or someone on the prayer team, one of our pastors, and you get to share what you just experienced. What is God doing? You get to put on, if you would like, if you're open to it, the sign of the cross in the form of the ashes. Hope that has overcome. Hope that has broken into our world and our lives and guaranteed that this is not the end of our story. Even the rain, even the gloom, even the gray is one day coming to an end. Will you enter in with us, friends? Will you be real about what's going on in our lives and in our world? And will you let Jesus tell you a very different story? It's what Ash Wednesday is all about. It's what Lent is all about. It's what Easter is all about. And friends, Easter is coming. Thanks be to God. Hope to see you there.